All right, so let's talk about the modern day photo album. It's not like it used to be back when we were kids. No more stacks of photos and drawers. No more big clunky albums with the pictures just falling out of them. Remember that? Everything nowadays is digital. And a couple of the big benefits of digital are flawless photos and no waiting, instant sharing. And here to show us how to get these picture perfect pictures is Sharon Doherty from Adobe Systems. Good morning, Sharon. Welcome to the show. Good morning. Thank you. I am so glad you're here with us this morning uh, because as we said, everything has gone digital. What are some of the things, though, that we can do with our digital pictures? Well, digital technology has really allowed us to uh, make it a lot easier for users to create and share with their photos mm -hmm. and really tell their story with their photos. Um, from organizing to editing, creating, and sharing, it's, it's easier than it's ever been. Here's the thing, though. I probably would have to say everybody I know, all of my friends, family, we have digital cameras, but I can probably count on one hand <laughs> the number of us who have the digital thing down pat. Walk us through that. What are some of the things we can do with regards to digital editing of our photos? Right. Well, with Photoshop Elements, we take advanced technology and we make it accessible and easy to use for everyday users. Um, for instance, let me, yeah. let me show you here. So. Um, it's inevitable that you're going to end up with a, um, a, a telephone pole or someone walking into your shot. Yeah. So we want to get rid of those. With something called the spot healing brush, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. you can just swipe over the person oh, or over right. the object and it removes it instantly. And the technology behind it just fills in the background seamlessly. It's, it's amazing. You it's look like, like a magic. pro. <laughs> <laughs> you look like a pro. Another interesting uh, new feature is something called style match. Yeah. And with style match, you can take um, a dramatic photo that you've taken uh -huh. and actually match the style. The contrast, the color, the tone mm -hmm. to another mm -hmm. photo just by dragging and dropping it. Um, and one other thing that we do to make it really easy for users is something called guided edits. And it basically steps them through step by step mm -hmm. how, to, how to edit, how to um, create an effect. And one of the really cool effects we've added is something called um, out of bounds. And it adds this really cool oh, wow. 3D effect where items are just popping out of the frame or popping out of the photo. It's a really fun, fun, new, um, fun new effect. So there's a lot of ways uh, that you can edit and it's, we've made it very that easy for users to do. Great. All right, yeah. so here's the deal. I, you know, you and I talked about this before. We're both from California, and you know, my parents are still there, and they're not able to see their grandkids as often as they'd like. I certainly can't take like 600 pictures from our family Sorry. vacation and then send them in an email, and they're not on Facebook. Sorry, mm -hmm. mom and dad, but you know, we've been trying to get you on. They're not on Facebook right now. So, what are some of the ways that I can share these photos with them so that they can stay a part of, of their grandchildren's lives? A great way to share is online or through print. But um, let me just show you quickly yeah. um, how to make an interactive online album. Uh, basically you just choose some of your photos and you click on the album and you pick a theme. So that we have we have a couple like vacation, dozen things, vacation, whatever, family, right, got birthday. You. Got you. And Photoshop Elements automatically lays out your photos into mm -hmm. the theme mm -hmm. and then you preview it and you, you create a uh, link to send to your user and they click on it and immediately they see the, the album. Um, another great way is through photo books, ah, printed photo books. Right. Um, this is just an amazing example of um, one of the, the scrapbooks that we've created that basically tells your story. You can narrate, um, you can add text, you can add uh, different backgrounds and really interesting um, embellishments to create a really fun book. Do you know I like these? Because they're tangible. You can hold yes. them in your hand. Yes. And, and I think they make great gifts as well. We have a lot of other examples. This is from a, a family trip uh, to Japan. It's got all the pictures of the trip and everything in there. I like that. We've got other examples as well of calendars. Calendars, cards, greeting cards, yes. It seems like the possibilities are endless they with are regards endless. to what you, what you can do with mm -hmm. this. And, and and I know this is just the tip of the iceberg with regards to the technology that, that we can do um, with this particular uh, program. What else can it do very quickly? So um, another really um, important thing for people to know is how to organize their photos. That is true. And to back up and, and keep and them safe. And to keep them, because I think people might think, okay, so with the big clunky mm -hmm. photo album, the great thing about that is, guess what? I already know where it is. Right. I always right. know where it is. I don't have to worry about it. But when you're talking about digital, for some people it can be kind of doo 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 out in outer space somewhere, mm -hmm. you know? Well, with Photoshop Elements, um, let me just show you quickly. We have something called the Organizer. Okay. And the Organizer um, allows you to import all your photos, mm -hmm. and then you tag them very quickly with, with keyword tags. So it's based on the people, the events, um, and the actual activities that are happening in your photo. So it's very easy to find oh, them later. Very nice. Or you can find them based on people recognition. It actually finds the people in your photos, and, um, and it tags them with their names, so you can find them later. Um, another great feature of the Organizer is it backs up automatically That's online. That's nice. Yeah. and syncs your photos. So the photos that are on your desktop are now online. You can access them, access them online when you're away from home or on your mobile phone.
phone, so you always have your photos with you. <laughs> I love when you say mobile phone because you know we always people always say, "Oh, do you want to see my family pictures?" They're like, "Yeah, you know they really don't want to see them, but on your mobile phone you can <laughs> rip them out." Are. All right, Sharon Doherty, some really uh, cute advice. I'm um, good, good ways to keep those photos and keep them handy and safe for everybody to see. Thank you so much for being with us this Thank morning. Thank you. All right, and to find out more information about this photo editing software, check out Photoshop.com. There's lots of great information on the website.